Okay, let's continue. If you're watching later, thanks for uh, clicking and hope you're enjoying. Just wrapped up a lengthy session of finishing Hyrule Castle and in my little BRB, the Blood Moon happens, so the castle's back. So I'm not going there anytime soon. Uh, yeah, we're heading to the next area, so... Alright, let's go. Ah, <sighs> so relieved to be done with that. But yeah, I'm eating the the remnants of like the Gouda cheese I have. So. It's a bit more milder. It's pretty good. I feel like a kid because I used to eat just cheese sometimes. Granted, it was, you know, cheese slices. It wasn't anything like this, but I did used to do that. I think that's the tower I'm going for. Oh, you know what? My, I think we might be doing Eventide as well. Fancy cheese is good, better than Lunchables. Yeah, but when you're a kid, you don't care about fancy cheese. Although I did... I did technically have fancy cheese because feta was like a staple. Like, uh, yeah. Used to have it quite a bit as a kid. Lunchables are cool. They're, they're fine. They do the job when you're hungry. Aha. You're at 22 Koroks. Nice. Go to that mountain if you want to double that number. It's an easy way to get them. I'll tell you, I did not miss these dudes. Okay, anyway, off we go. You're at Dueling Pigs. Oh, yeah. Me too. Pretty close. I mean, I don't want to do this because it's part of the other tower. But I'll have a look around. Frogs! Oh no, it's a lizard. That was close. 
Just thinking pates are launchables. I wish I had salami or something. It's okay. Cheese is fine. I have 128 frost arrows. Did I say the correct way? There's a correct way. Isn't that isn't the point of a logistable to be like the kids and kids use their imaginations on how they want to eat it? You saw it on TikTok. Ah, oh, but like, I don't know. Calling TikTok an authority on something. Oh shit, we got gold. We got gold. We got gold. We got golds. We got golds. We got gold. We got gold. Which means the Lionel's a gold now. <laughs> so, you know, those things are 100% not worth fighting. Under any circumstance, should not fight them. It will not be happening. I mean, I, I listen, I, I took off all metallic objects, but I've been struck by lightning twice without wearing anything, so. Due diligence, but that doesn't mean I won't get punished still. This is another, well, I don't think I explored this, but I doubt there's anything. Do I have movement speed food? Maybe. Just figured worth checking. I probably won't get time to uh 
go to Five Guys tomorrow. It'll probably be a weekend thing. It's just, oh man, it's been hectic this week. Short a week, it's got nothing to do with that. Like, I think that if I would have worked Monday and Tuesday, it would have been as hectic. But I'll, uh, I'll endeavor to do it on, on Saturday. And then I'll, I'll report. Get a good burger, get good stuff on it. Define what does what does good stuff mean? What does that mean? I mean outside of bacon? Because bacon was already go already gonna happen, that was a given. Whatever I like on it. Oh, but I thought you were gonna tell me like the correct way to have a burger. It's like, no, listen, if you're going there, these are the ingredients you should be getting. And this, this is what you should do. And if you deviate from it, you're doing it wrong. Whatever topping I like, okay. Well, that's fine. I was planning on doing that anyway. I mean, I was just thinking pretty much everything except the mushrooms and t sliced tomato. Because, uh, unless it's the- um, here's the thing, I- I can have sliced tomatoes, it's just... I'm very particular with it when it comes to burgers. Because a lot of fast food places here tend to have a habit of using, um, a particular, uh, tomato slicer that does pretty thick cut slices, and I don't like thick cut slices. I think it, it just ruins the burger ratio, you know? Now, if it's pretty thinly cut, yeah, I'll get it, because it's, it's all about the ratio, you know? And I think having a tomato slice that's sometimes as thick as the burger patty, which can happen at, say, like, Burger King or McDonald's, it's just not, it's not enjoyable to me. It's all about the ratio, and less about the fact that there's a, t a slice in there. So I don't tend to gamble on it, typically. It's just in burgers that I'm like that. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. And most fast food burger places, it's it's pretty much that is It's just it throws off the balance for me. I don't like Feeling more tomato mouthfeel than, you know, meat. That is my preference. Oh shit, yeah, this is, uh... This is bad for business chat, because now this is truly where... The master mode challenge begins. <laughs> if you thought... You know, before was, was rough, now... Ugh. I don't think- I think we don't get to see blue ones anymore. Like, the lowest one we'll see is, is black. So it's like black, silver, and gold are the only colors of enemies we'll see now. With the exception of the Lionel that is scripted. And every now and then there's like, you know, a, a spot where there's one enemy. It's, uh, yep. This is, this is life now. Did 
there can't be too much cheese. In general, or are we talking about on a burger still? Also, hello, Messiah. How are you today? I mean, I think if you if you develop the lactose intolerance from eating too much cheese, that's probably too much cheese. In general, gotcha. I mean, I have a friend that developed lactose intolerance from having too much milk. Went to school in uh, in a country town where they uh, did flavored milk. It's like a particular brand here in Australia, and so they used to give flavored milk to the schools nearby, right? Good guy company, but then you know. That's how he developed lactose intolerance. It was just too much, uh, milk. So I think you could do the same to yourself with cheese, which would suck. But you can get pills for that nowadays, can't you? Like, that help? Wait, what? Poor F R G I O Fra Fragiad Fragriad Fragred Fra Poor Fragiad Frag Fragiad Frag Frigiod Autocorrect at its finest. What is it trying to autocorrect you to? This, that's not even a word. It it's autocorrecting to just gibberish, unless it's a foreign language that I don't know of. F R G I O D. What is this word? F R G I O D. No, see. Search instead for this word. What is it? No results. <laughs> Like, autocorrect makes sense when the result is another word in English, but the result here is, is gibberish. What do you mean, autocorrect? Has autocorrect gotten to the point where it's just deciding to type random letters? Because it's trying to match your typing style? Well, you're trying to say frigid, because that's the only word that's close. But then, f poor frigid morning? Why would you say frigid? I guess cold, but... Because frigid can mean cold as well. Ugh. English. It's alright, I'm just teasing. I'm sorry. Uh, I get very, uh... hung up on semantics sometimes. I just, I find it funny. Is cold. Is it supposed to be? Is 
Sometimes you will type complete words that you are not intending to whatsoever type. Huh. I mean, every Australian's fear is that if they type the word can't, the, the A gets replaced. Can happen. Yeah, I was gonna ask if, if your, like, fingers are typing something that your brain isn't saying. It's like, is, is that not, like, a mild form of dyslexia? Okay, there's another core up. nice to not be in constant combat. <laughs> I feel like the last, I don't know, eight hours that I've played, combining today and yesterday, have just been nothing but fighting. So it's nice to just run in a field. Handwriting is hard because you write faster than your brain can handle. Yeah, that sounds like dyslexia. What about pictures? Can you, like, if you were to play, say, Pictionary, do you find that game easy or difficult? One, to draw, but two, to also, you know, discern what people are drawing. Frolicking, yeah, <laughs> what about it? It's frolicking. Okay. Yeah, just curious, because... I know someone who has mild dyslexia, and... Man, when it comes to, um, games that involve... Creativity and drawing stuff, yeah, not... Not great at it. I suppose that game is also relative to who you're playing with as well, like, it's not an individual skill measure. Always been getting your point across. Okay. Yeah, then that's good. But can you see other people trying to get their point across? Why do I try and dive in this? This is not the answer. Like, it's a matter of getting your own point across, but also seeing others. If you can do both, then yeah, it's, it's not that. I don't know why I tried to dive into that. That was dumb. That was silly. <laughs> yes, I tried to swim like a fish. 
The friend group you played with were awful. Their drawings were awful. Ah. I mean, I, I don't have the greatest of drawings, but at least I can get my point across. It's been a while since I've done that on stream. But we've, we've played, like, uh... Scribble. And, uh, that other one, Gardic Phone. They're fun. Okay. Save. Damn it. A little close up. There we go. <laughs> it just came to mind. Isn't it? Was, there's a song where the lyrics of it go, why does it always rain on me? I don't remember the rest of the song. But I thought that in my head, and then I'm like, wait, there's a song that has that. It's like, why does it always rain on me? Something, something, something. I think when I was 17 is the other part of the lyric. I don't know. I don't remember. I may have also just mentioned an old song too. I don't know. I don't know how old it is. dropping down more and more but wait where is this tower is it because I lied when I was 17 I think that's the lyric how old is the song I want to say early 2000s but I'm not sure I want to hope early 2000s, anything earlier than that. I'm not sure who, who it's by, but it's a song. 1999. Close. But still 90s, I guess. Your grandpa always told you about the good old days. Well, I still haven't started using that kind of language yet. Granted, I will say, I'm sorry, I, I don't get just certain things. And it's not because I'm old, it's just because I've always been that way, like, when Facebook was in its prime and any other social media thing, I was like, I don't get this shit. <laughs> why would I want, why would I want to use this? So I guess I've always been an old man at heart. But with TikTok, it's kind of like, if you like to browse it, that's fine. More power to you. But for me, it's... 
you know what it, the way I'll describe it is? So if you've ever worked retail, you'll know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they have promotions running on the TV, right? And now it's not like they can have eight unique hours of promotions. It's like, no, you're going to watch a, a half hour loop if you're lucky. So the way TikTok feels to me is like, you know, I'll see something the first time, right? And then as I'm scrolling, just more and more of the same shit pops up. It's just different people doing it. Now, I get that you need to fine tune it by like going out and liking stuff and, you know, following accounts. But it's just even still the For You page kind of gets to that point where it's like, oh, look, it's that meme that like 90 people are doing all of a sudden. It's just different rendition of it. It just feels to me like I've seen a lot of that stuff multiple times. I don't mind looking at that stuff if someone sends me stuff, you know? Because then it's curated and it's like, okay, yeah, that's, that's cool. But I don't really open the app ever. Other than the few times where... I was uploading media to it, but I haven't really done anything with it lately. Does that make me an old man? I don't know. Or just make me anti-social network. Another blood moon? Really? Back in my day, we didn't need social networks. You wanted to be social, all you had to do was go down the street and talk to your neighbor. You pick up the telephone, right? And I'm talking about picking up a telephone, not your fancy cell phones, right? There's a handset that hung on the wall. And you dialed a number on keys cost 30 cents a minute, but man, it was more personal. <laughs> I don't know. For the record, I think landlines were always a waste of money, but that's just me. I've said this before, if I want, if I really could have the option, I would go for it. Have a cell plan that does data only and doesn't give me a phone number because I'd say 95% of the phone, what, huh? What is happening? Didn't this happen already or am I not paying it to, what? No, it shouldn't have happened. I think I it just, I think I saw it, but it just hadn't happened yet. I don't know. I, I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's daytime. What? Chat, what's going on? It's day- it's daytime and a blood moon happened. Hmm. I- I don't know. No idea. I'm gonna- gonna have to roll back that footage later. I think I maybe just wasn't paying attention. No, chalk it up to that. <laughs> it's just, it's so bright now. Usually when a blood moon happens, I don't know, it's not this bright right away. Well, I mean, maybe it's just compensating for uh, that blood moon I somehow, somehow cancelled out. I don't know.
Okay, where is where is this tower? That's what I'm trying to go for. Yeah, me breaking games. What else is new? Am I just going around in circles? <laughs> I've been past this car a few times. I must I must be, I'm losing my mind. Fuck? No, I'm not imagining this. Chat, what, what is what is happening? The blood moon rises <laughs> once again. <laughs> what? Please be careful. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, now, yep. No, something, something's wrong. I've, I've most definitely broken the game. I think I've had three blood moons, just... What the? <laughs> A blood moon rises once again. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think I've, I've definitely broken something. <laughs> the blood moon rises once again. <laughs> oh man. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is one of the better times I've glitched the game in a while. This is the Armageddon. This is this is the Armageddon right here. This is how the world ends. It's just blood moons everywhere. It's a specific spot, check this out, look. I'll make it happen again, watch. It's here. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? I'm glad because it shows I, I wasn't going crazy. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. Step off it. Step on it. <laughs> it's this exact spot. <laughs> the blood moon rises once again. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> That's more than four at this point. <laughs> I've, I've found the spot where it's happening. It's it's right here. Watch, I'll do it again. I am a god. I can summon the blood moon at will. <laughs> the blood moon rises once again. Wow. Please be careful. Yeah, no, it's a hundred percent broken. I'm just worried that 
I think what's happened is like I must have broken the game when I was in. Oh no, no, no now it's like. <laughs> I, I don't think I can journey into this area. <laughs> I think what happened in Hyrule Castle that had to have been a blood moon, and I guess. I somehow got the game to cancel it out, and I think this is the side effect of it. Like, something's just gone horribly wrong. Okay, so now now there's no... Now it's fine. But I get the feeling the moment I touch the ground, it's gonna do it again. Okay, no. We're, we're fine. Just don't go to that spot, and then everything will be okay. I can see the particles. <laughs> I, I can see the particles. It's broad daylight and it's happening. It's, I, I knew I wasn't imagining it. I knew I wasn't imagining it. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Climb the tree, cancel it, cancel it. No blood moon. This has become a whole new game now. Oh, come on. Once again. Please be Yo, you're witnessing. This is just me. Just chaos incarnate. If I was in a trading card game. My character would be something like, you know, flip a coin if heads, this attack does nothing if tails, just bend the fabric of the universe itself. Yeah, no, it's, it's completely, it's completely broken. I might have to uh, close the game if it keeps doing it. If I can't progress and it just keeps giving me blood moon after blood moon I will most definitely have to close and reopen the game <laughs> oh. oh I needed that laugh that's gonna be a good clip later I think it's calmed down God damn it! <laughs> I, I want the Korok, but I can't go anywhere near it because the blood moon keeps rising. The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. Uh, this is just, yep. Yeah. This will be uh, the the best glitch of 2023. I can feel it. <laughs> Dude, I can't. <laughs> this is just. <laughs> the blood moon rises once again. <laughs> it's cracking me up because it's Zelda. Oh dear. The reason I haven't reset it yet because I want to see just how broken this is. <laughs> Why? The but see, it's not happening now. It's just for some reason this specific forest right now. Oh, this, this is fantastic. 
In another, in another life, I would have been a very successful quality assurance tester. But then again, the stuff only really started happening to me when I started streaming. Before all that, growing up, the stuff did never happen to me, ever. There it is. Get it. I see it. I see it. I finally see it. Okay, Korok acquired. Is it fixed? It's not happening again. I think I think it's fixed, chat. Nope. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I mean, I was wandering around there and that hadn't happened, so... I think whatever I did at Hyrule Castle just broke the game. Alright, let's just... I'm just gonna continue. I'm just gonna continue. Link, please! I'm gonna skip. The blood moon rises once again. Incredible. Just nothing short of incredible. Oh, let's see, there's a... I kind of want to go through that. Okay, I'm 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 away from this area. We should be okay. Are you, look look at this look at this. <laughs> As I'm jumping, it's trying to do it, and when I jump in the air, it stops doing it. This is just completely and utterly fucking broken. Watch the background. <laughs> oh my god. Now this is just for shits and giggles at this point. I'm so happy with this playthrough now. This has had this has had basically everything. Getting struck by lightning. Just glit this is this is beyond. Oh, this is going to be the thumbnail. You know what else I've noticed? I think the enemy the enemies are gone. There's no enemies. There's no enemy spawning. Look. There's animals, but I haven't seen an enemy in a while. There we go. Okay, never mind. That's <laughs> so dumb. I just- I just want to see how bad this can get, that's all. 
We've entered a truly special state of things right now. It's, it, it's, a, it's a permanent blood moon, like it, it won't stop trying to do it. Surely going inside a, uh... A shrine will fix this. The fact that I'm manipulating this at will is, I think, the craziest part of this right now. <laughs> Jumping in the air stops it. <laughs> like, I can only imagine how much the game is panicking right now. <laughs> Welcome to Luralin. Fishing town and blood moon town. You can still see, you can still see it. If I get an indoor blood moon, I'll, I'll be so happy right now, because that, that's a first. I don't think anyone's managed to do that. I mean, it seems to be fine in here. Oh, man. Oh shit, it doesn't work. Yeah, no, fuck that. I just realized what I can do. Yeah. Work smarter, not harder. Huh? Alright, let's see what happens. But that is, uh, that is 90 now. Alright, what effect is this going to have on the world outside, I wonder? I think it's normal now. Not to knock on wood, but 
I'm walking around and nothing seems to be going red. I think, I think we're okay. I think that fixed it. I think we're okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what I did in the first place to break it, but I can kind of guess. But I guess that's that's what a passive is. Is like, I'm I'm not doing anything. I'm not I'm not doing anything. It just happens. <laughs> Incredible, though. Best one I've I've had in a while. Why is that man glowing? Sava Sava. Hmm? Could you be armed of arm dust to me? No, I don't think so. Okay. And then this dude's just creeping. Wabbin. Okay. Phew. I'm so glad. Oh, by the way, my name's Wabbin. To be honest, I lost my way earlier. I closed my eyes for a minute, and when I opened them, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen was standing before me. At first, I thought I was dreaming, or that she was a ghost or something. I mean, it's not every day you run into a gorgeous woman in the middle of nowhere. But figment of my imagination or not, it was love at first sight. And so I've decided to gather my courage and confess my feelings to her. I've decided long ago that when I meet the girl of my dreams, I'll hand her a blue nightshade to confess my love. If only I had a blue nightshade. I mean, imagine her in a blue nightshade. That'd make a beautiful scene, don't you think? Here you go. I have plenty. If you say so. Thank you, this is perfect. It's exactly what I needed. Oh la la. Mm. Ah, uh, just when I look at her, my legs freeze up, my throat goes dry. I, I can't do it. Could you please give my gift to her? Sure. Mm. Thank you. I'll give you back this blue nightshade. Uh. Oh, don't forget to mention it's a present for me. I have a flower for you. Huh? What's a gift? <laughs> camera. Camera. Hmm? I see. So you're delivering these flowers for that bow over there. Mm. I don't sense any deceit from you. So you're the one who gave me flowers. Here, I'm sorry. Could it be that you don't like the blue nightshade? Why would you say that? This is my favorite kind of flower. How did you know that anyway? Are you a Yiga spy? No, 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 that's not it. Blue nightshade just happens to be my favorite flower. Long ago I decided to give my true love this flower. Your true love. So this is what they call destiny. You're the vow that destiny has chosen for me then. All right, go ahead and speak your piece. What do you mean? No, that's not right at all. Uh -huh. I'm talking about a vo. I'm talking about what a vo says to a vi. Uh -huh. What do you mean? Uh -huh. You know, something like, I like you, or please go out with me? Mm. Oh, sure, uh, asking so directly, how could I possibly say no? Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. Oh, wow, did you hear that? She says she likes me, and she wants to go out. This is the first time anyone has ever said they like me, and for it to come from the woman of my dreams, this is such an amazing feeling. I'm so glad I was born into this world. 
There's no way I can truly thank you, but please take this as a token of my thanks. Huh? What? That's it? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. That's all you're willing to offer him for everything he's done for you? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, here. This is what I meant to give you. Oh. Much better. Hey, you. I guess I owe you too. I hope you have as much luck finding someone as I did, thanks to you. Yeah, it says he found the love of his life and is like, here, have, have a dollar. Thank you for aiding me in finding true happiness. Here's a dollar. I'm just glad this is fixed. It's nice to see a <laughs> normal moon. Haha. <laughs> Six fifty. It's a nice number, two hundred and fifty to go. Oh no. Is it back? I think it's back. I think it's back. I think it's back. I think it's back. The corruption is spreading again. It's back. <laughs> I think it's going to happen every time there's night time. I didn't do anything. I just helped someone find their true love. <laughs> oh, man. At this point, I should have a Blood Moon counter for the rest of the screen. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we're okay, though. Well, it's, it's not continuously doing it, so I, I guess that's fine. Like, maybe... Uh, what? Why, why so many? Ow!
They're still coming for me. I just, I just want to do the car up. Go away. Are they guarding it? What? Didn't I just get 650? I saw I said 650. That's a good number. Did I imagine 650? Okay, let's, let's not panic. I think I may have imagined 650. I think I may have imagined 650. It's okay. There should be another one up here. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Like I'm just being gaslit at the moment by the game. Into the true state of things. I've, I've had a really, I've had a really, really long day. Like, you would not believe. I feel like this is a quest. This seems very quest-like.
Oh, okay. Okay, counter's going up. That's good news. But there's one thing that I'm curious about that I want to see happen. I want to see the, the blood moon happen again and just see if it causes problems. Banana? There we go. Yeah. Kind of figured because there were bananas in the area. I'm curious to see what happens when it becomes nighttime. so paranoid right now <laughs> like have i caused the game to enter this corrupted state i don't know i wouldn't put it past me It'll be a few minutes before it becomes night time again, so we'll see. Surprise, there's nothing up here. Okay, that one's easy. Good job. It's probably just up here. Durian. I'm just 
on the edge of my seat right now to see if nighttime is normal again. We'll see. I didn't want it to start a storm, that's all. What the? Octo balloon? I suppose that's another way you could do this. Just mushrooms. You can see what's under each one. I mean, I guess. Oh, yeah, it does work. <laughs> See, that's probably a better way to deal with it than wasting a weapon. Okay, is it night time yet? At least I'm here, so. I think this one you actually have to use stamina things to get up. Patient. Ah, 
Ah, there we are. So Stalkov is a pretty big region. Still, there's still this uh, bit of curiosity in me. Like, is this going to go smoothly when nighttime hits? It feels like the the moon has or the sun hasn't moved. Like, it, it seems like it's been like this for a while. Or maybe I'm just, this is just me wanting something to happen. I don't know. Okay, here we go. I do like that they're all excited about some durian fruit. They're all happy over fruit. Mm, I'm not asking for rain, I'm asking for nighttime to hit. I don't know if you've been watching the last 15, 20 minutes, but, uh... Yeah. Game... Not sure the state of it at the moment. I suppose metaphorical rain, maybe. Okay, I have to know what the what time is it in game? Okay, so nighttime should be hitting soon. No, no, I I I want to see this happen. I haven't done anything. <laughs> Just wanted to see how far this goes. It got pretty bad. I just want to see to what extent. Okay, let's just see. I know I'm asking for it a little bit here, but... Anyway, I'm gonna leave this area and head to the other, to look back to Luralin, because we're starting from Luralin's side. It's just, okay, look at the time now, and look at the, look at the horizon. Shouldn't it be dark by now? I guess I'll know in a couple of minutes, huh? 
Like, if, if it gets to 8 p.m. and it's not dark, then something's wrong. I mean, okay, something else is wrong. <laughs> Damn it. It's raining. That's a, that's a unique one. Okay, so the luminous stones have lit up, right? So let's look at, I want to see the horizon line now. Oh no, I guess it is nighttime now. Okay. Right, but now... Okay, hold up. Cause last time nighttime hit a blood moon happened and then yeah. But it doesn't look like it's happened this time. I think it might be fixed. Oh jeez. Please. No, it's not. It's not fixed. Wait, is it? No. It just looks red. Ugh, can't tell anymore. No, but what? I don't know, man. <laughs> Where is the moon? That's all I want to see. I want to see the moon. I just want the moon to appear in the sky, that's all. It's possible that it's now just fixed. We'll see. I mean, what time does the moon usually go up? 11? Okay, that's the moon. It's normal. Okay, this might this might be okay then. I think it's back to normal. I'm not jinxing it. It's just yeah. The moon is in the sky and nothing is happening yet.
<laughs> it's just me wanting something to happen, but I think because I'm afraid to save the game, if I'm being on if I'm being completely honest, the reason I'm caring so much is I'm afraid to save the game. Because what what if like this is just a state of things now? Because to exit the game, I would have to save the game, right? Like I can't just close it. I have to save, and I don't want to save if something's wrong. That's why I'm so intent on this. Okay, um, I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go to that forest. Which was there, right? I'm gonna go to that forest and see if it happens again. Cause that's where it all started. Maybe it's just the new master mode? It, it's- it's not. <laughs> the first time. I played this on my own. Nothing like the stuff that's happened through this playthrough happened at all. Okay, but, you know. Go back to the pro hut. One. Yeah. Six fifty seven. Well, I mean, no blood moon happened, so that's good news. But yeah, I'm going to the spot where it became problematic. I saw the dragon. Good thing is it's that spot's marked by Korok. It's it's this one right here, Koto Pond. I suppose that's that's the beauty of it. Is I don't have to look. It's I know it's that pond. Goblins are funny, just celebrating over just random things. Like something as simple as having fruit. Okay, this was the pond that started it. Let's just see. for a little bit. Nope. <laughs> immediately. Immediately. Okay, 657. I'm just testing a theory here. The blood moon rises once again. <laughs> it's still, it's still, it's still messed up. 
But it, but it kept following me, that's the thing, what? Like this, okay, it's still, I, I just wanted to see the core count and just remain, oh my god. <laughs> I just wanted to see the core count and remain sane, because I don't want to save and be in this state. I'm afraid to save because I don't want it to be busted. How long ago was the autosave? It was four minutes ago. So when we got that Korok. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. The blood moon rises once. Okay. I'm going to wait for the next autosave, and the, like, I'm going to just pay attention to the bottom corner. If you see autosave, say something, and I'm watching it as well. But the moment I see the autosave, I'm just going to close, and then we're going to go off the autosave. And we'll see. Because I believe the last time I saved was... Ooh. I guess it's fucked either way, ah. Uh, it's like 11.30, it's it's not Hyrule Castle. I guess it doesn't matter. I was thinking, oh, maybe I didn't save since Hyrule Castle, but nope, this is, uh... It's just insane that I'm I'm hopping and it's preventing it from happening. No, there it is again. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going. I'm gonna save here. I'm saving here. Okay, and we're going to... Let's see. I might have to restart my switch. Cause that, uh, yeah, not ideal. How's everyone's day going? Is it, go is it going as well as mine is? Okay, good news, it stopped doing it. So there's no blood moon right now. Okay, now let me stand in, in the death spot. Walk around here for a little bit. Let's see what happens. I think we're in the clear. It's not doing anything weird. Okay, so, if I was to put my finger on it, I think it was, when I got that, that thing I thought was a blood moon, and then it, I cancelled it somehow. I think the game has well and truly been fucked since, since that point, because I swear I saw the sky turn red a few times and then it, it disappeared, and I thought, oh, maybe I'm just imagining it. 
Because how many times did I go, oh, there's a blood moon? Oh, wait, no, there's no blood moon. Never mind. I'm just seeing shit. <laughs> uh, uh, I think they were all blood moons. It's just... Yeah, I said it a few times, and it's glad- I'm glad! I'm glad that I wasn't going crazy. Something was definitely wrong. I just- I just didn't know that at that point I had truly, truly broken something. It is- it's funny though, it's- it's typical of me. I'm gonna have to get creative with the thumbnail on this one. It's just the, the text dialogue for the Blood Moon Rises all over the thumbnail. I think I got a few good shots of Link. <laughs> Jumping around. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Well, now, yeah, I mean, I guess we can do this. Because this is a shrine that's in direct proximity, so. Oh, man. I'm gonna sleep so well today. I just feel like I'm gonna crash. I look forward to Tears of the Kingdom and seeing just what exactly, you know, my passive will do to that game. It's unpredictable, but I feel like I'm at a track record of about 80% of the games I play. Something happens. Oh yeah, right, we got golden thingies. I could go fight a golden Lionel to be entertaining, but I think I'll save that for tomorrow when I'm more awake. I'll probably head in that area tomorrow anyway. And it's the weekend, thankfully. Yeah, I'm gonna have another long day tomorrow. Oh, I'm looking forward to just the week being over. Weekend? Yeah. I mean, for me, it's just like I want to mentally unwind a little. One more day of quarantine. Right, COVID. How's that been so far? Nothing serious? Just mild or... Worst thing? It's, it's, it, I hear one or the other when it comes to that. Body aches, cough, headache, ah, okay. 
Yeah, the body axe must suck. Very run down, out of energy. I mean, the only thing I will be doing this weekend is hopefully going to do the the five guys thing. That's about it. I might go out and see if I can find the uh, like something that'll let me press to make tortillas. Brain fog is bad. I I can't relate. Somehow I still haven't gotten COVID. Despite being in rooms with people who who have gotten it. Being directly next to people who have gotten it, it's just, I don't know. It's not like I'm trying to get it, it's just surprising. Doctor had to ask your height, and you had to really think to remember how tall you were. <laughs> I mean, I know how tall I am, but I, to be honest, I haven't measured my height since I was a, uh, was a teenager. I think I was nineteen at the time. So, grown like growth spurt over, but I haven't done anything about height measurement since. So I think these are all high knocks and probably not worth looking into too much, but I'll browse around here. So we're heading to... hang on. So that's the enemy area, which I think there's something at the end there. But each of these where there's a rib cage, that's uh, where we want to go. I am so afraid of golden lizards later. Ugh. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. The gold bacoblins are manageable. Okay, I thought these trees would have yielded something, but I guess not. Okay, let's just put that there. Golden Lionel, I'm not worried about at all. It's just the lizards. I'm more afraid of the lizards than the Lionels. The lizards are just ruthless. They just chase and attack you so quickly. A Lionel gives you a window. 
it charges at you. It gives you time. Sure, it has more health, but it's as far as the threat goes, it's not something you see that often. And it gives up a lot easier. It just decides to stop attacking you. Those lizards, man. I just what was happening in the dungeon in Hyrule Castle. Ugh, I hated that. I hated every second of that. Getting spat on, getting a tongue thrown in my direction. It's, ugh. And then arrows. And they just keep chasing or they had spears. It was just... Everything about that just sucked. Of course it's raining. Why can't my glitch do something like, I don't know, stop rain? Like, oh no, rain stopped working. Damn. Why can't it do stuff like that? get the blood moon glitch. I mean, it's possible that I could have done something to take advantage of it. Like, if items spawned because of blood moon, I could have just kept picking up the same item over and over again. Let's see, uh... That would have been neat. I just stole something from the middle child. The poor middle child is going to get blamed. I can't relate, because uh, I'm, I'm the eldest, so... Wouldn't know what that was ever like. the youngest nothing's ever your fault must be nice sometimes i would get into trouble and i would have done nothing it would have simply have been why didn't you why didn't you stop them slash why don't you say anything <laughs> that would be the reason Yeah, getting in trouble by proxy, it, it's great. Still chasing. Orb is gone. Give it up. <laughs> it's nice to be doing shrines again, I gotta say. <laughs> After the last couple of days, just combat, 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 non-stop. This is a nice change of pace for me.
thought that was lightning for a sec. This one might not be so straightforward. Did the Hinox just slap, um... It might have. Hang on, I want, I want these things because they're good for movement speed. Oh, it's already given up. For fuck's sake. I have to deal with this. Thanks, friend. Thank you for throwing that in my direction. Helped. Such friendly skeletons. Helping out on my quest. That one was like, hey, you forgot your ball. Don't forget your ball. Tawajin. Sorry, chat. I was just checking something real quick on my phone. Whilst that animation was playing. I was like, wait, do I have anything tomorrow morning? The answer is no. <laughs> Thankfully. Daojin. I confused the date. I feel like I've used this quite a bit, so we're gonna... Oh, plus it's an attack up variant. That's awesome. Does 49. That's great. Definitely worth that. I'm very happy with the progress. <laughs> I'm feeling confident the end of April is going to be this weekend, and then it's, it's basically two weeks until Tears of the Kingdom. Like we're close. So, I'll, I'll ha I think I'll have enough time to resolve this. I don't know. I'm, I might 
have to do a little bit of extra effort this weekend just to get through these last towers, but we'll see. I've been I've been playing a lot, <laughs> like a lot more than I usually do. If it were up to me, I, and in the interest of time, I would start a bit later, but I'm like starting after I eat dinner, pretty much. Just to get like another few hours in. Fast for dinner. Ah, uh, just some pasta. Nothing fancy. Quick, easy. It did grate some of the leftover cheese, though, so the cheese was good on the pasta. Party lizard. Look at how majestic the gold one looks. Don't want to fight it, but majestic. Am I? Oh, I'm back in the curse. The curse pond. But it's okay, I think we're safe. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid to get hit by a rock from this thing, because it's probably going to hurt. Also, a lot of uh, videos are coming out on Breath of the Wild. Um, game journalists have played the game now, so there's like a bunch of spoilers around. So it's, it's a little bit of a minefield. I would recommend <laughs> if you get Zelda content on stuff like TikTok or YouTube shorts, whatever you consume, be careful because... Yeah. The trickle of uh, content has begun. Okay, I'm just plugging in the controller. Mm -mm -mm. Like one account I follow put out, I think, 10 or 15 different videos on just Tears of the Kingdom. I'm like, oh no. Nope, nope, nope. Definitely not opening any sort of uh, short form content for a while. <laughs> Already raised the spoiler dodge shield. Yeah. Now it's uh it's definitely in should be in full force. It's 
scared the bug away. I don't mind seeing general news about it and just, you know, the trailer was a hype trailer. Didn't really show that much more. Did that thing just wake up the Hinox? Did that thing just wake up the Hinox? I mean, I think with these, it's, it's kind of safe to assume that because it's deep in Hinox land, it's not going to do much. Oh shit, that's not good. Okay, hang on. Ah oh, shit, it's a wooden bow, never mind. I'm being greedy for these because these are like very good for movement speed. And I want them. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I love that they can betray one another. That ass is protecting. I really want to go get those uh, cooking materials. I got a few. Should be okay. I think, I, I mean, at least the stuff that the spoilers are about, it's just mechanics as opposed to the story. So I guess any consolation, it's, it's not spoiling really the state of things. At least not too much. I do find it funny that people figured out where Zelda is based on the, the trailer footage. It's just... It wasn't that hard. <laughs> and she's like, come find me. It's like, well, you're not exactly somewhere convoluted. You're sort of hiding out in the open a little. I think had she said anything else, no one would have bothered looking where she was. Just internet detectives. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go to Laurelin and then I think we can head to. You know what? Oh, wait, that's Koholit. Where's Eventide? No, that is Eventide, right? Yeah. We'll see. Depends how much time it takes. But, like, is that island really going to be that different for me? I mean, what is what would I be doing on that island that I'm not already doing now? It'd be, okay, so I lose my 
my weapons. I almost read that as Mount Florida. <laughs> Floria. Floria. Like, please, just run up the hill. I may have gone a little too far this way. I don't want to be in this jungle area. Okay, Floria is as far as I, I, I go in this direction. I need to go further to the east. That is a Korok. <sighs> Started raining. Yeah, ha ha. Six fifty eight. Do you hear that? That laughing? 
Those are, that's the sound of a kookaburra. Those are the birds we have in Australia. They're cute. They're tiny and fluffy. But that's how they laugh early in the morning. You know, most birds are like, cheap, 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 cheap. Those things are like, ha 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 Wake up, cunt! At like, seven in the morning. They are very cute, though. It's just... They can make, a uh, Yeah, quite the racket. They weren't so loud, I almost wish I had one as a pet. It's weird though because there's not any birds, at least not that I see in the jungle, there. that would be around to make that noise, it's just ambient sounds. So wait, does this game... Is Hyrule, like, somehow... ...very closely aligned to Australia? If it has that animal, like, that they're, they're unique to us. Maybe this part specifically. Oh. I never noticed that before. You can get rainbows in the sky. It's very subtle, but it's there. Gone now. Oh no, it's sort of still there. Very subtle. Maybe that region. Maybe that region. The area that just looks like a jungle. The area that looks like animals will attack you, of course. You get spooked by a spider to accidentally step on a snake that bites you. 
Injects you with venom, and then some cunt bird laughs in a tree while you die. I've said this before, Australia is not that. It's just the stereotype. Well, okay. The place where I live, at least. The place that is along with the cities is fine. It's just obviously if you go into the middle of nowhere that looks more or less like this, then yeah, you're going to run into problems, sure. But that goes, that goes with pretty much anywhere you go in the world, but when you go to an, an area that looks like this, it's outside of civilization, of course, you're going to run into dangerous stuff. Pretty empty. The kind of surprisingly empty. This is probably one of these areas that just has a low Korok density in general. I already missed Central Hyrule. Central Hy Hyrule was just so good. They were just everywhere. Felt good. I want to climb, but it's still raining. Uh, hold on. I should follow. I should just follow this whole thing around.
It's gonna keep going. At least there's no gold skeletons. You know, something just occurred to me. What if the reason there's so many skeletons, and maybe this is just a master mode thing, but... To make up for the fact that you're constantly smashing weapons, like, maybe they thought, hmm, we need to give the player a constant source of new weapons. But we can't put more treasure chests in the world. How about we just make more skeletons appear? That seems plausible. Okay, I'm getting this one off its horse before something bad happens. There we go. Oh no, it got back on like the arsehole it is. They don't give good weapons. Yeah, but it's better than nothing. I mean, the Stahl Moblins give okay weapons. They're not great, but... Why does this thing keep getting on, on its horse? I, I keep taking it off its horse. Get off the horse. How does it keep getting back on so quickly? go there just because I know ugh. it's off its horse officially did it just fall asleep okay there we go it's off its horse <laughs> That ball just appeared and then they started hunting it. Okay, as long as... As long as they can't chase me down on a horse. I thought I could stand there. It almost looked like I could. I'm just trying to cover this area. one. I don't want to do that just yet, because I got the feeling along here there might be one.
I just want to make it clear that I walked in that direction. The only thing that sucks about that island is to get to what I need to sacrifice items. Or an item. Because I need the Korok leaf. This way. I just want to see where this, the low ground is. Yeah. I just, I'll probably do this multiple times. It's just to fly past these areas, but not necessarily land on them. It's not dead. <laughs> it's just resetting. So then I don't have to climb all the way back up. I think we're good. I think the rest is just it's actually... Yeah, it's actually low ground. Okay, head to the ocean. Alright, now I'm gonna head for that other Korok. The one that I saw over there, that I was like, nah, don't get it. Not yet.
Wait, wasn't it here? I can't see because of the, the weather. There should be somewhere around here. Can't see it. I think it's there. Uh, I just don't want to be wrong. I don't even want to climb, and yet the rain is hindering me again. It could be either one of these two. If I look at the map, it's probably the one before. Put this one over here. I still can't see it. It's not here. It's okay, I'll position reset. There it is. Yeah, that was a little annoying. I saw it so easily before and just because of the rain I couldn't see it. like a concussion right there. <laughs> that scared you. What, the sound effect? It was a bit loud. So annoying. But just like what can I what can I do to that?
I forget what this one's about. I need to bring someone, like someone here, but who? I forget what this one's about. There's a dude you bring here. Maybe no, maybe it's an orb thing. It might be an orb thing, actually. That seems to ring a bell. Hang on. I think the dude's at Luralin, we'll find out. Or I could just... I don't have to sail there. Like, this is excessive, but... I really don't want to drop a weapon. Tell you what, let's just fuck it. I hate it when that happens. How long will it take me to get to this island? Doesn't seem that far away. Oh no. Course correct. Huh. That was a, that was a wild guess. So, hmm, let me look with stasis. Maybe this, I mean, magnesis. Maybe there's something here. Yeah, I mean, okay. Sure. I just figured if there's enemies nearby, there's probably a reason. now like in the middle of my my journey across the ocean this just makes this annoying now it means I gotta be way more careful The player needs a challenge. Must train all the time. Am 
My game loves to rain all the time, rain all the time, rain all the time. Anyone? <laughs> you know, it tripped me out that Eddie Murphy could sing. Or at least had a music career. Did not know that. That song is before my time, just to be clear, but... No, it's not a real song. The real song is called Party All The Time. I just did a weird owl. You haven't heard Party All The Time by Eddie Murphy? And, uh, Rick James. Had to predict that one. Party? No. I was talking about the song Party all the time. even have a party about I, I, I truly hate these things a cheese party <laughs> don't have enough to have a party just want to have fun. The, the song? Is that a, the song or the statement? <laughs> Maybe both. ¿Por qué no los dos? To you who has traveled to this island. I present you with a challenge in your travels. You have relied on the equipment you found along the way. Not really. But you must cast this equipment aside and face the travel. Apparently you have wits and what you can scavenge. Offer up the orbs to the three altars on this island. Only then will I acknowledge your skill and return your items. Okay. Oh look chat, something disastrous is about to happen to Link. Okay, it missed. That's like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure to be continued.
This is fortunate. I'm taking that boat. It took its arm as well. Yaras. I can't remember if there's Korok on this island. There might be. The bats. The bats. They scared. Mass weapons. Okay, off the balloon. Let's just make sure from a weapon's perspective we're okay. I don't know, I don't find this challenge too bad. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I've been playing like this the whole time. And I know what it's like to work my way up. To a part where I can survive, you know? I know how many times he died. Nope. A lot. <laughs> first things first. Get you off the watchtower. That's all we need to do. <laughs> I forgot what cartoon it was. I think it was Angry Beavers, but there was a saying where... He goes, see, it doesn't matter if you win or lose as long as you enjoy sucking. As long as you have fun sucking, it's okay.
Was it Angry Birds? It may have been. I don't know. It was one of those old 90s Nick cartoons. Go. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's okay. Doesn't have to be clean. They won't catch me. I took their bow. Alright, that's one. This is just me collecting resources, pretty much. Early to do that right now. I'm just seeing what path I need to take to get over there. It's over there, right? Oh, it's not. Where is it? Anyway, anyway, I still have... I still have it. I'll figure it out. The important part is I have one. You know what? I think I have to take it across with this. Probable. Yeah. 
And I forgot what these platforms are, huh? having a chill time. Oh yeah, no, it's over there. Okay, there's the first one. So it's not so straightforward, but... Can't save. That's okay. Thank you. How did you think I was going to get across? Okay, that's one. all the hardships, hardships I've had to go through to make this work. I mean, master mode in general, just with nothing. Okay, that's for real. That's for real, Z's. to eight. Howling Shroom's not that big. Let's see where the other platforms are.
It's okay, it's okay. Use heal to advantage. Damn it, the spear. Ah, that's unfortunate. I needed to get rid of the spears. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Do I have to do all this again? Maybe. Oh, yeah, no, I have to do this all again. But see, about that. Oh, it doesn't let me... Oh, that's... That's sad. I want another try at it. I have to go across this ocean again. It kind of sucks that it does that to you. I was trying to take control of that hill to cook, but I got greedy. I don't see lizards this time. Before I land on the island, I need to make sure I do this. Yo. 
Okay, let's try again. That guy was about to kill me. I need to disarm them first. These things don't sleep. Okay, move. Let's just get some stuff. As before. Okay. It's okay, I already stole their shit. That's the worst I can do. That's the good one.
the wind. The wind is messing me up. It's not letting the bomb go. gonna have to alert them. Okay. Making it night time on purpose. Oh, the one in the tower's gone. It just despawned it. Huh. I guess because the tower's not there, game is like, it was defeated. drop these because this this is mainly just for disarming we've got a blood moon and endless blood moon or just a blood moon the blood moon. annoying. They didn't take their bows, what idiots, why would you do that? Thanks. Thanks, pal. They have no weapons. They have no power over me. Okay. 
So, I'll give up. one just to make it less of a less of a jump careful okay that's the ticket Okay, hang on. Not as straightforward as the first time, but it's fine. That's done. That's the only disadvantage of this is just at night time it sucks, but the sleeping works out. Windows doing my head in. I'm trying to aim these bombs, but it's not working as well as they should. Yep. 
Oh shit. That was that was annoying. That sort of came out of nowhere. One of them fell. So close. I feel like for this one it's okay though. something now. Okay, excellent. Alright, we got the high ground. Whoops. Bit of a fruit explosion. got this. Asleep again. So coming up this mountain. That time it's definitely dead. But don't worry about this. Oh shit. Ooh. That was, uh, that was a little shitty of you. Fine, let it go, let it go. Hit <laughs> 
It's regenerating too much health too quickly. It doesn't pick up the bot. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, hang on. Leave it for a minute. Surprised it followed me all the way up there. Should be okay. Hopefully. Just needed to buy myself a couple extra seconds to get it. Okay, let's take... Jesus Christ. <laughs> it almost fucked me. No problems. Thank you. 
Done. Yeah, I mean, I butchered the first attempt just a little bit, but got there in the end. Done well to complete your trial. I will now return your things as promised. Excellent. Thank you. Come into the shrine. See, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Cargo something something. Better already be worthy. Cargo Chi Day. Sure. Yeah, two attempts, it's fine. But I guess the mentality on how to survive is more or less the same. It doesn't really change much for me, this this island. It, it's a bit of a different perspective for me. I don't really have to stress, right? Yeah, right, the Rito arrives here. Okay, we'll sit with the Rito. Um, yeah, so, chat. This is where I'm gonna leave it for tonight. I gotta get some sleep. I got a long day ahead again tomorrow, but I want to thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the stream, and uh, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. In the meantime, of course, if you want to watch more content, you can look me up on YouTube. Just search for the channel name over there, or you can go to shambles.gg. has links to everything I do over there. And if you're watching later on YouTube, thank you so much for uh, sticking around to the end. And consider doing all that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support the channel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, Magic Moo. Thanks for popping in. Um, yeah. Tomorrow we'll continue this region, which... It's not going to be as exciting as before, but, you know, there's stuff to do. Alright, chat. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time.